Hi Aries, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your October 2022 general reading. Now I am pulling the Kipper to show the overall energy in your reading and then I will pull the Tarot. For those of you that have never seen me before, I'm a psychic and a medium, so I operate a little bit differently in my readings. What you will see is the spirit world use me to push out the cards like that and um, I channel the information. Spirit may have the, uh, that was a present position, Spirit may have the strength for Aries in October. What do they need to know? What will validate this reading and what will help them? Spirit may have the strength. Thank you. Thank you. We got message and we got education. Um, in the present one, we got pathway may have the challenge for Aries for the month of October. What is the challenge? We have wealthy man, a message of concern. May I have um, what's good in the outcome for Aries? What's good in the outcome spirit for Aries in October 2022? Bring it forward. What's good in the outcome? They want me to pull this one over here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, may I have the, um, so this is a tarot that I'm pulling now for you to see four different areas of your life, Aries. Um, I'm gonna be looking at the present position. That's to validate that this is your reading. Now, if the present position doesn't make sense, don't f feel free to switch over to another reading. Um, not every reading is going to apply to you. And so the way to know whether it's yours or not is do you resonate with the present position? Is what I bring up in the present position what's happening in your life right now? Spirit, bring it forward. Uh, what will validate this reading for Aries? What's happening in their present position? We have the Three of Wands and we have the Palace of Swords in the reverse. Spirit, what's happening in their strength position for the month of October? So for those of you that have never seen me before, the strength is, that's going to happen anyway. It's what is going to happen that is a strength of yours in the month of October. You don't need to do anything for it to be a strength. It's just going to happen and it's going to work in your favor. That's what that means. So we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Two of Wands, and we have, what is this? The Five of Swords. Um, Spirit, bring it forward. What is going to happen in their challenge for the month of October? And we have the Page of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Now, again, you don't need to do anything in regards to the challenge. It is what it is. The challenge is going to be there. Um, and you don't have to do much um, in regards to it, but knowing what the challenge is will allow you to make a different decision if you're aware of it. Spirit may have what's good in the outcome, please, for Aries. We have we have the five of coins, we have the seven of wands. Um, Spirit, can I have one more card for the outcome, please? What's good in the outcome? Whoa. All right. Put these back. We have the Two of Cups and the Palace of Cups. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. Spirit, bring it forward. Why is number 35 and Pathway here in the present position? Why is the Three of Wands here and the Palace of Swords in the reverse? Bring it forward. What's going on with Aries? in their present position. So it looks like transformation is taking place here in your life, Aries. It does look like you're about to start a new endeavor, or you're definitely thinking about going on a different path in your life that will take you in a completely different direction. In the two or three of wands, um, you're actually, I feel like this is kind of imminent for you, Aries. Uh, new things are occurring in your life that's going to make you think about what you want for your future in a really different way. It does look like you're exploring new ideas, but, but what's happening is that there's a lot of turmoil in your life right now. And it 
or you've come out of recent turmoil or recent angst or recent depression, something like that, where you have been unhappy or um, just kind of displaced in some way. And so that is kind of making you think about things very, very differently. Here in the Palace of Swords, um, it feels like it's been difficult for you to kind of um, be in a situation where you're feeling um, authentic and fulfilled. And so that is actually forcing you into this kind of new pathway as well. So you can live more authentically and more in the direction that you see fit. Here in the, in this, uh, in the strength, um, we've got message and expectations, but bring it forward. Um, it, I feel like there's going to be unexpected communication here. It does feel like for some of you, you're thinking about the past or thinking about um, a new relationship or new situation. It does feel like you're waiting upon communication, but it does feel like you're going to initiate communication about something too. Person, place, situation, could be a job, could be a new endeavor, business, idea. It could be just a relationship, but it does feel like... Um, uh, you're going to reach out and communicate now what's interesting about your strength position is that it feels like it is your destiny to do this because it feels like um, the other person place or situation is also putting out that intention so you both put it out and it becomes uh, manifested and as a result what we have is a ten of cups right so if you do that and you're able to communicate um, your needs, what it is that you want, put it out there. I do feel like there's going to be success in this because we have a Ten of Cups and it shows completion. So it does show that, that miracles do happen and endeavors do happen and there's a lot of excitement here. So there's, it does feel like there's a lot of emotional energy and it allows you then to really understand um, how to unlock that pathway that has perhaps been blocked up until now. That's what that shows in the two of uh, wands. And so here in the five of swords, um, you're no longer conflicted. You move forward in an extremely powerful way and um, that honors what it is that you want for your life. Here in the challenge, um, it does feel like from another perspective, uh, situation, person, place or thing, um, there's there's a situation that is creating concern for you. There's something on your mind, maybe a loved one that uh, is constantly on your mind. Um, and it does feel like uh, you kind of worry about them. Um, so they're in your thoughts. I don't feel like it's a big thing that you dwell on. It's just kind of there. So you are thinking about other people um, and what it is that they need. And so that is the challenge because you're trying to kind of forge out this new pathway for you, but you're thinking about others at the same time. And sometimes Aries, you can't, if, if they're responsible for themselves, if they're not like your children, you're not directly responsible for their health and well-being. You kind of do have to just do what's right for you and know that what is ever right, whatever is right for them is going to be brought to them from the universe. And so you're not responsible in that way unless there's a direct legal responsibility, right? So let go of the burden. That's what that shows right here in the Ten of Wands in the challenge is that um, you're trying to forge ahead this new pathway, but there's conflict and not wanting to leave behind those that are more vulnerable. So you're trying to balance everything here and it might get um, stressful at times during the month. Now we go, we go back to what it is that you want. And so um, we have wealthy man here. So opportunity is coming your way and uh, it does feel like somebody, something, someone, person, place, or situation is going to open up here in a really important way. Um, it does feel like they're going to be able to balance out uh, what's missing in your life, whether that be financially or in different situations. So it does feel like a blessing um, is what it feels like. 
it does feel like um, you're going to have to defend some communication. There's going to be some defensive communication here where you're going to have to stand your ground on what it is that you are advocating for. Um, and ultimately, when you do that, we have the Two of Cups and the Palace of Cups. So we have you moving forward um, towards what it is that you want easily and effortlessly. Now, it does show somebody new coming into your life here in the Palace of, uh, in the Two of Cups. So for many of you, it, this could be a new friendship, new partnership. For those of you that are single, um, it could be uh, a new love interest. And for those of you already in a relationship, it's taking it to the next level. So something gets elevated in the outcome here in October that will be uh, give you the strength that you need to kind of go on this pathway because you're actually not going on it alone. You're going to be joining forces with somebody and it's going to be a really interesting experience. Aries, that is your reading. I hope it helped. If it resonated with you, please hit like, subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified when I post my next reading and I will speak to you soon.